right, everyone, welcome back to my next quote to guide your life by. Uh, today, we're going to have another quote on how to embrace your fullest life, how to live life to your fullest. And today's quote is uh, hopefully one you've heard about before and you, you know and it inspires you. It just, I love this quote, and it has always truly inspired me, and I hope it inspires you. I'd, I'd print, if, if you don't know this quote, I'd, I'd print it out, put it on my wall, read it every day, and say, I'm going to do that. Hunter S. Thompson, and he said this, Life should not be a journey to the grave with the intention of arriving safely in a pretty and well-preserved body, but rather to skid in, in broadside of cloud of smoke, thoroughly used up, totally worn out, and loudly proclaiming, Wow! What a ride! And you know, I think most, and I know that's, it sounds, he's, he's using extremes. He's using an extreme example of what most of us would never do and what most, most of us would never do at another extreme. And, and yet, you know, most of us are living our lives like it's not a journey and we're never going to arrive at the grave. But when we do, every moment of our lives, we want to be very pretty, we want to look great, we want to be in perfect health, we will never want to have any scars, we never want to have any risk. We just want to come to the end of our lives pretty and happy and as healthy and as safe as we could have possibly been. And he says, no, 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 that's not the way you should live your life. Life should be a journey to the grave. And when you get there, your body should be beat up and, and scarred and worn out. And you should be able to think, wow, 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 what a ride. That's a life I think you could be proud of. And, and I know, you know, this is two extremes. And most of us are going to want to find a, a, a way in a middle ground in between the two extremes. I'm not arriving at my grave all worn out, and beat up and scarred. I will have some scars. Uh, but you know, I do have a scar. I got a great big scar on my arm because I rode a motorcycle. And I rode a motorcycle every day in the mountains, in, in, in uh, mountain curvy climbing roads. And I made a mistake and I paid for it and I got a scar. And so, you know, it was a risk. Riding that motorcycle up there all summer, knowing it was a risk. I took the risk and I got a scar. But I look back at that summer, I look at back at all my summers of working as a campground host, I look at them with joy and, and think, man, I lived a great life and I wouldn't trade any of it. I wouldn't trade that, it was six months of real pain and hardship after that accident. I wouldn't trade it, I wouldn't go back and say, no, no, don't do that. Life isn't a journey to the grave, and you arrive there in perfect health, in a perfect body, you never took a risk, you never took a chance, and you, you run. Why? <laughs> What's the point of arriving with a perfect body that you never took a chance with? Take some chances. Now, don't go crazy. You know, don't, Hunter S. Thompson really, individually, took it to the extreme. and. Uh, and alive, arrived at his grave beat up and worn out. I'm not suggesting you do that, but I'm not suggesting you arrive there. Most of us are trying to arrive at the grave in perfect health to the very end. You know, even we have a saying that, well, the best way to die is in your, in your old age, in your bed, surrounded by people you love, and you just don't wake up one day. No, I don't think that's true. I think the best way to die is to um, have lived fully, arrive with some scars, arrive with some hardships, look back with joy at some hardships. You know, when you look back at your life, it's the hard things we smile about the most. And that's how you should arrive at your grave, with lots of, of adventures and risks and chances that you took and that you survived, with memories full of joy and exhilarating adventure. I hope that's how you arrive at your grave. And you find the balance that works for you. The Hunter S. Thompson balance is too off balance for me. I'm not gonna do that. But the 
for many of you, you're living a life now that you're going to regret. And that's why you're watching these videos, is because you don't want to die full of regrets and never have lived. That's the worst regret in all of life, is to arrive at the end and say, I never lived. I never lived. Uh, don't do that. Find the balance that works for you. Embrace um, the scars, embrace, embrace tears, embrace risk, embrace danger, um, and arrive with many, many memories that are life-changing and hardships that bring a smile. Shared hardships is the greatest joy in life. I believe that. So find people to travel your road with, uh, share some hardships with them, endure them together, and then uh, carry them to your grave with great joy. Folks, I hope, I hope you'll consider that and you'll find the balance, the middle way that will work for you, whatever it is. And I don't know, I'm not trying to tell you. I'm just trying to find, avoid the extremes of a life not lived and a life lived with too much risk. Somewhere in there is the balance for you and I hope you find it. Folks, if you got anything out of this video, like us on YouTube, subscribe to the channel, hit that thumbs up button, and we'll see you on the next quote to guide your life by. See you then.